everyone, welcome back to The Ordinary Critics. I am Isaac. And I am not Carlos. And we are just two ordinary guys reviewing extraordinary movies. As you can see, Carlos is on hiatus for a little bit, so we have Maddie here today, filling in, and we have some hard-hitting questions for you all about the movie Us. Ooh, it's... okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> go see it. Don't go by yourself like I did. It is terrible. Don't go on the subway after. Don't go on the subway after. At all. So, just a heads up, there will be spoilers, because we got the hard-hitting questions, because we're still confused about a couple things after watching the movie. The whole movie, but, like, a few things. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you, Jordan Peele. <laughs> so, now's your chance. You've been warned. Here we go. Question number one. Okay, so, the tethered neighbors come up, kill, like kill their people, or whatever. They're not named the friends. Friends. The, the was let's call them the waspy white friends. The waspy white friends. Yeah, the douchebag with the bigger boat, the bigger house, and all the, the money. <laughs> um, so their tethers come up, kill them, but then attack the OG family. But that doesn't make sense, because all the other people who have tethers, if you see, like, the news camera thing where the anchor gets killed and stuff, you can see everyone's only killing their dual person. Right. So why are the Waspy family, why are they killing Adelaide and, uh, and Gabe and Jason and Zora. Zora? Why is that happening? Right. Why don't they just like hit their, they hit their targets and then go stand in line? And like, like what, what's up? It all happened too quickly for say Adelaide, who's actually red, doing that to like set them on it, like, make them go. It's a lot. It's a she lot. She doesn't have time to control them. Of course, this is like us after watching the movie and processing it for a while. In the moment, I was like, this is great. Yeah, no, I was like, this makes sense. And then I was like, wait. Wait, no, it doesn't. Why? How do they know so, this is happening? I got nothing. Question number two. Speaking of the line. I... What? <laughs> okay, this is our biggest issue. They get in the line, and then what? Like, do they have a spot in line? Right. Were they assigned, like, did Red slash Adelaide assign them spots in line? And then I understand they're trying to replace the people with the Hands Across America, but right. once they do replace them, then, like, why? They're just going to stand there forever and, like, make a statement like, look what we did. Also, the they're in the, the water. They're, they're underwater. They're standing in the holding and hands. and valleys, and they're all over the place. Like, so just, they... I just... How did they get there? That's all I want to know. How did you get to the bottom of that valley safely and then know that or you would stand there? Did you drown in the middle of the ocean while you are holding on to the person to your left's hand? And then, like, when do you guys, do you all mutually decide to break apart? You're like, okay, let's, and we're let's done go. Now. Let's Great. rebuild society. Or not. I don't know. Or just, yeah, I don't get it. The line. And did 1111 <laughs> man begin the line? Is he the beginning? Is he and the is beginning? that why he didn't move? Right, he just stood there and like was like, okay, I'm ready. Come I, to I me. <laughs> Come to me. <laughs> Hold my hand or I'm, don't. I'm ready. I'm ready. Don't my bloody, me. bloody hand. So question number three. Ooh, it's a point of contention. So, oh. <laughs> Adelaide, we'll just call her Adelaide for now, doesn't snap on beat when they play five on it in the car, when she's teaching Jason. Oh, yeah, just snap on beat. And then she's on, like, one and a half and 3.75 right, instead even... of two and four. Not even close. But she's supposed to be, like, this dancer. Because originally Adelaide, who's now down. Or she's downstairs. Downstairs. <laughs> or, no, Red. Red. This is confusing already. There's a lot going on. There's a lot. Okay, basically, the person who is downstairs is supposed to be the dancer. Right. And she, obviously, they have some weird range of movement they can't do. Right. But upstairs, she's doing the dance perfectly, so right. then why can't she snap on beat? Right, so Girl, she's how been, did you do so, that combo? So, Lupita Nyong'o, who's upstairs. <laughs> it's both Lupita Nyong'o. I know, but the one who's upstairs. The upstairs. We're the ups doing... Upstairs, downstairs. <laughs> basement. Basement. <laughs> attic. So, or main level four, main whatever. Lobby. Up, upstairs, like, trained as a dancer, should be on beat. So when she grows up, since she's been there for a while, should be able to snap on beat. A lot of people are like, oh, that's really off, and, like, this is where, like, this things start things. to go happen Something's or whatever. wrong. But then, like, you should be able to snap on beat. And then downstairs, was training as a dancer. Couldn't dance. Couldn't dance. But that was part of the thing, that but they that, had a range that, of movement. Right, that was fine. But then... 
I did. I don't. I did. It just didn't. Those. those Why can't she snap on beat? If she can dance in whatever she was dancing. Two and four. That's it. And also, the kid was old enough to be like mom. That's wrong. That's that's wrong. That was the other thing is they the, the Jason and his duo they made them two different ages and it was that's yeah, a different story yeah, but we'll we'll get onto that in a we'll second get to that. but just a lesson for everybody out there you clap you snap and you stomp on two, two and, and four. four period two and four. thank you two and four so question number f- uh, four. four based we're on number four, four based off of that duality thing so we have. Red and Adelaide, one can dance, one cannot dance. Okay, cool. They're very separate, very different, complete right. opposites. We got Pyro Boy Pluto and Jason. Jason, like, can't get his fire magic trick to work, but Pluto's a pyromaniac. But here's the biggest okay, issue. Okay, great. Here's a big issue. We have Zora and Umbre. Why are they both fast? They're both Shouldn't fast. Shouldn't one be super they, slow? They can both run. Can't move. And they set them both off running, and it's the same thing. And it's kind of the issue with the dad. Right. We too. don't really know what the the duality, the juxtaposition. Is it one clumsy, the, one's not? Because they're both big and, like, kind of sledgehammer. They're like, you know, they're your tank class of the family, like, going D&D style. So, like, like why? So why do two of them have it, and then the other very two? Very opposite, and the other two are kind of the same person. It's very, like... The questions that we have about the basement area and the tethering, it's just, they're endless. We have so many questions. Our final question. So, okay. So, big plot twist in the movie. If you are still on this and, like, don't want the whole thing spoiled, stop. Go away. But, okay. (laughs) So, the big plot twist is that Adelaide and Red had switched places the entire time. So, that being said, in one of the very first times that we see the tethers... Adelaide tells the whole like backstory of how the tethers the were fire. made and like all this stuff. How does she know this? How? Okay. She wasn't Adelaide, born down there. She's the only person who can talk. Everyone else has like caveman language. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yes, they mentioned government experiment, but I, I did not see one government official walking those no. halls. No. Who told her this? How did she decide this? Or did it take her from the moment it happened to the second she got, I guess you could say kidnapped or traded or whatever. whatever. How, how did she figure it out? Because if I was locked in a basement with a bunch of rabbits, I would be like, is this pet code gone wrong? Like, I don't understand (laughs) what's happening. But that was the other thing we have a question about the basement is, first of all, I don't think anyone can live off of raw rabbit meat. That's it. For that long. How did they do that? Where did they get their clothes? Yeah, like, there's there's so many questions about this government experiment. How did they have a TV? That was the other thing. Tetherland? Yeah, like... How did they know what day it was? Right, it's just... There's a whole lot of questions about this world that... And when you're looking into it, and I didn't know. But the other thing that bothered us, too, is it's how the tethered are acting out the life that's above them. How do they know where the people are? Is yeah. there a monitor? Are they tethered? Because clearly there's some untethering that happens right. when Adelaide goes upstairs right. and Red goes down. down. Yeah, there's it's, some. It's, it's there's very, something that happens. We have lots of questions. Lots of questions. Okay, final bonus question. Did you see the twist coming? I didn't. The person I was with kept being like, we don't know what happened in the funhouse. And I'm like, shut up. Like, true. I don't think it's important. True. And then it was the most important part of the film. It's true. I didn't, I didn't see it coming either. There was just, there was too much other stuff going on. That was really bad grammar. Um, but there, <laughs> no, <never. laughs> there were too many other things going on that when that did happen, I was like, oh. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. This movie is a lot. So we gave you, like, 17 questions out of five. Oh, wait, we forgot about the one in the car at the end. The one in the car at the end. When Jason looks at... Yes. Um, Adelaide, I guess. Red, Adelaide. Adelaide. At Red Adelaide. Okay. Whoever, and it's like, Mom, is that you? But we don't understand how he would have recognized that. People say, claim it's because she he saw her kill someone, but I, everyone was killing everyone. Did anyone yeah, see think- Zora with the golf club? Girl... Yeah, I think the kill, the kill count, that moment was funny. I appreciated that. I, <laughs> I think Adelaide Red, whatever we're going to call her, I think she... Upstairs. Upstairs. Uh, killed like three? Three or four. She killed a lot. But they all killed people. people. Technically, Jason led... 
Pluto into the fire and killed him. That's so true. it's like That's true. we have so many questions about this movie. It is a great film. Go check it out. Go watch it. Do you have anything else? Um no, I really I was just more bothered by that. And um where are they driving to? Where are they gonna go? We could rattle on for hours about there, these There questions. could be we 20 could videos of this. But no. where are they going is really, I'm like, okay, might, what are you We might break this down even further. <laughs> where are you going <laughs> and why? Are, when do you stop holding hands? Or really the, it's true. The line. When do you break line? Never. Those are the two, my, my ending questions. I still, I, did, I don't get it. I don't know. I know Thank you, Maddie, for coming on the show. Thank you we for letting me. We appreciate you. Of course, of course. This is a grand old time. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, leave your questions down below, and we'll try to answer them as best we can. Smash the like or button. Or ask more questions. Or ask more. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Just keep, let's get this conversation going, and maybe Jordan Peele will hop on an episode. Hop on like, That's a, not like, gonna happen. like the rabbits. That's not going to happen. Gonna so, happen. thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay ordinary. Yeah.